Happy Pride Month. I am an ally and today I want to share how I went from fear to love. So I'm part of Generation X and I was born in the 70s, grew up in the 80s, went to college in the 90s. When you're a little kid, you kind of believe what the adults are telling you and if it's more than one adult, you believe it even more. So I grew up fearing people from the LGBTQ plus community and thinking that what they were doing was wrong. So here's an example. I was at a slumber party and all of us girls went for a walk and somebody mentioned that there were some transvestites that lived in a house over there. I was like, what are transvestites? Like it sounded like monsters to me, but basically they were just men that dressed as women. So to me, it seemed like they were monsters, like I had no idea what that was and the correct term today would be transgender or gender fluid. So all through high school, I didn't really know any gay people or any people that were out because I did know some people that came out later. Now looking back, I think about how how hard that must have been for them to, you know, not live their truth and to try to keep a secret. So I was in college now, it was the early 90s, and one of our classes had a speaker coming to share about his life. And this speaker was the turning point for me. The way he did it was he he started with a story and it was basically about imagine when you were a kid and you were watching TV and you had a crush on somebody that was the opposite sex and everybody was telling you that's wrong that's wrong and they're telling you no you have to like somebody that's the same gender or sex as you and you grow up and you know you have these feelings for people that are the opposite sex but you can't be with them because people will look at you like you're doing something wrong This man was so good at, you know, putting us inside his shoes. And that was the turning point for me. And this guy was nice and funny and he, it changed my life. It changed my views. And I mean, it took more time to get rid of some homophobic, transphobic um, thoughts that I still had because it takes time to change. It does take time to change. And, but before I knew it, I was dancing at a day club with all my gay friends and it was the best. The community is the best to this day. I'm trying to not cry when I say this, but for all of you that are in the LGBTQIA community, I love you. And if, (laughs) okay. If you have someone in your life that not accept you for who you are, it's possible for them to change. It might take a little time and maybe they'll never change, but if they don't, there's plenty of us allies that will take you in. I did not realize I was gonna get that emotional. Anyway, um, whew. I wanna just say happy Pride Month, love is love, and be you. Love you.